So I'm going to call the county board meeting of Feb April 14th to order certification of compliance with the open meeting law. The agenda was posted on April 9th at 4.30 p.m. and Chairman Wagner asked that I state all who's present at the uh, administration building. <clears throat> it's Chairman Wagner, Vice Chair Koch, Administrator Payne, um, Finance Director Wendy Sharnan, and we have Corporation Council Crystal Fieber in here, and Chris Lewinsky, uh, Director of IT, myself, John Dolson, uh, Cheryl Savon from my office, we have Ron Miller manning the camera, and we have Emmett Feldner from the review. Thank you, John. Uh, we're going to do a roll call next, and then you're going to have to unmute your phone and then mute it again after you say aye. So we'll start with the roll call. Supervisor Conrarity. Aye. Supervisor Gruber. Aye. Supervisor Brula. Aye. Supervisor Otten. Aye. Supervisor Baumgart. Here, present. Supervisor Nelson. Aye. Supervisor Prochek. Here. Supervisor Koch. Here. Supervisor Glavin. Supervisor Brower. Here. Supervisor Jorgensen. Supervisor Ziegelbauer. Here. Super Supervisor Nenig. This is Jerry. I don't know if you got me. Uh, you know, thank you. Supervisor Nenig. Uh, su Aye. Supervisor Abler. Here. Supervisor Epping. Here. Supervisor Damp. Present. Supervisor Wetner. Aye. Supervisor Bauer. Supervisor OJ. Supervisor Hoffman. Here. Supervisor Hilbelink. Here. Supervisor Bosman. Here. Supervisor Bean. Um, Feldman. Aye. Supervisor Gehring. Aye. Supervisor Testrudi. Here. Uh, just one more check for Supervisor Glavin. Supervisor Bauer. And Supervisor OJ. <coughs> Thank you, John. It, uh, uh, it appears we have 23 supervisors minute. present. Thank you. Okay, this is... Did you get Supervisor Glavin? Yes, sir. Thank yes, you. we did. Thank you, everybody. The order of the day is uh, patience. We're all going to try and be patient here. I very much appreciate it. A uh, couple things. I'm going, when we have a motion or something, I'm going to ask somebody to make that motion. So instead of having six or seven people do it, I will ask a particular person and a, another person to, to second it. Then after that, I'll ask if there's any discussion or questions like we normally do. And then at the end, we'll just take a vote of ayes. And I'll ask for nays. And if there are no nays, we'll accept that as unanimous and move on. If there are any nays, then we'll have to go to a roll call vote. So next, we need to approve the journal. And I would ask Supervisor Glavin and Supervisor Ziegelbauer if they would please, Supervisor Glavin, make the motion. Supervisor Ziegelbauer, second it. I will make that motion. Thank you. Supervisor Ziegelbauer. I 
will second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Ziegelbauer. Is there any discussion on the journal or questions? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Oppo opposed? None. Passes unanimously. Next, uh, John, if you'd read the appointment by the chairperson and the county administrator, we're going to combine them if it's okay. Sure. Citizen Participation Plan Committee, Jackie Veldman. And Citizen Partici Pl Participation Plan Committee, Jim Riesenberg, Charles Conrarity, Todd Richter, Lisa Hurley, Alan Rudnick, and Lou and Michelle Jenkeen. Okay, if I could ask Supervisor Procheck to make the motion and a second by Supervisor Adler. Supervisor Procheck makes the motion. Supervisor Adler seconds the motion. Thank you. Is there any questions or discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. John, are there any presentations? We have no presentations. Are there any public addresses? There are no public addresses. Letters, communications, and announcements? We have no letters, communications, or announcements. Thank you. Next, I'll turn it over to the county administrator for his report. Adam? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good evening, everyone. If you could please hit your mute button if you haven't already done so. I'm going to uh, cover some ground that's action item this evening as well as some updates in public health. Uh, first and foremost, congratulations. This is the first county board all teleconference that I think we've ever held in our history in Sheboygan County. Uh, it, it, as the county clerk shared earlier, we're in room 302 and we have a, a sparse gathering here. It's obviously very different for all of us, but I want to compliment you on calling in and how you're handling this. I want to compliment Chairman Wagner. This is just new ground for all of us. So again, congratulations. This evening, it was important that we meet and the predominant reason we're meeting is the approval of authorizing the bonding. And just to set the stage for that very quickly, uh, Wendy deserves tremendous credit working with, with Baird on getting our bonding resolution prepared. I appreciate the work that's gone into it. We had a finance committee meeting just before this and got an update on the approach. And as you know, we were looking originally at taking action on this bonding resolution in March. The recommendation was to hold off and we were told today that that was a very prudent recommendation. There was tremendous market volatility. We may have not been able to get an interest rate uh, better than three or three and a half percent. So it was a very prudent move that the board held off. Things have now subsequently settled down a little bit. And today, uh, we were able to get an interest rate of 1.9%, which is outstanding. So the action this evening would be to authorize moving forward bonding at 4.75 million. We have a double A2 rating, which is the consistent rating we received in the past, which is very, very good. And because things have settled down, we're looking at an interest rate that was more expected in this environment. So again, credit to Wendy and Baird, Corporation Council, the Finance Committee. Uh, we're in good shape. To put in perspective where we're at with this decision, you've already acted on this twice uh, to a certain extent because we have the annual budget process and we have the five-year capital planning process, both of which the county board already acted on and supported which is why this bonding is needed. This bonding is going to support projects like the uh, Marsh Bypass at the Sheboygan County Marsh, courthouse boiler replacements, roof replacements, HVAC upgrades, the Health and Human Services parking lot, the ADRC remodeling, the renovating the indoor range at the Law Enforcement Center, on-site child care at Rocky Knoll, and as you know, the customs facility that we're in the midst of building at the airport. So that's what this resolution is for and why it's so important. And I'm pleased that we we're able to lock in a good interest rate. The other topic I wanted to briefly discuss 
discusses the Sheboygan County Industrial Development and Revolving Loan Agency. That's the second action item that you're going to have before you this evening. As you may recall, we used to have a revolving loan fund. We bought out state funds. We were able to double the dollars we would have available. 1.6 million or thereabouts is going to Rocky No to help with facility improvements there. And then we at present have about $250,000 on hand to create our own revolving loan program or agency once again. The executive committee has a strong role with this uh, new industrial loan agency as will other people be appointed in the future. We have that in front of us, but this is to once again set it up in a manner where we have control, we establish the criteria for how the loans are provided, and it allows us to help entrepreneurs and small businesses and people in the community. So that's what's before you there. The third thing I wanted to touch on, which has been on all of our minds the last month, and that is the coronavirus and the response, the plans, the preparations. It was little as a month ago, on March 17th, when I reported to you that the Wisconsin confirmed case count was 72. And at that time, Sheboygan County had four confirmed cases associated with the coronavirus. Today, the Wisconsin confirmed case count is 3,555 and Sheboygan County has 37 confirmed cases. Remarkable how quickly these numbers have escalated, though I can't tell you how proud I am of our team and our local response and the collaboration that is being exhibited in Sheboygan County. Public health deserves tremendous credit for the coordination and response to this. Uh, to, to focus on those numbers or break them down just a little bit more of the total confirmed cases, the 37 that Sheboygan County has, currently 11 are active, four of those individuals are hospitalized, 24 individuals have recovered, and sadly we've had two deaths. There was a tremendous response at Sunny Ridge, and about 19 of those 37 confirmed cases, not about exactly, 19 of those confirmed cases were associated with Sunny Ridge, as were the two deaths. And for me, it was remarkable to participate in the teleconferences with the state and with our local hospitals and community leaders and certainly our emergency management director and public health professionals on how everyone pulled together to respond to Sunny Ridge. We have nine nursing homes in Sheboygan County. We felt it was probably inevitable at some point that the coronavirus was going to get into one of those facilities. It could have happened to any of them. It's happened quite a bit, as you know, in Washington and Ozaki County already. But public health coordinated the response. We reached out to the hospitals in both St. Nick's and Aurora, very quickly stepped up to provide staff support. The National Guard, as you know, uh, came to Sheboygan County and did all the testing of all the residents and all the staff, and that was incredibly valuable because we were looking at a reduction in 50% of the employees there, whether they thought they had it or self-quarantined or candidly were just scared. And because of the testing and the results, we now have a better handle on how to manage the situation. And thankfully, Sunny Ridge is in a very different situation today than they were a week ago. They're feeling their staffing has uh, been able to get sorted out and settled down to providing quality care to the residents, and they're holding their own. People are recovering. So that's good news. One of the early areas of concern was personal protective equipment. I've learned so much over the last uh, four weeks, and I've certainly learned and have a tremendous appreciation for our emergency management director and our purchasing agent. Uh, we very quickly started ordering additional supplies and 95 masks, gowns, gloves, personal protective equipment that we knew our nursing homes and hospitals and, and healthcare providers would need. It was rather remarkable how many of our nursing homes in particular, including Rocky Knoll, that did not have uh, that personal protective equipment on hand. I mean, 
this, again, this is just new to everyone. So uh, Steve Steiner and Bernie Romer did an excellent job building up our local supplies to the extent they could. They continue to work on that and we continue to provide resources as needed. The state has also provided personal protective equipment as they can, where they can, and that continues to be an area of need. I'm very pleased that we have a pandemic administrative committee. They meet every uh, Monday morning at 7.30 and we get reports from the hospitals, the nursing homes, all the health care providers. And at this point in time, everyone has adequate personal protective equipment on hand. So if there is a significant surge, without question, that's going to be an area of tremendous need. And again, thankfully, the county has some available as well. The other thing that was so heartwarming with the response to Sunny Ridge was the collaboration and, and response from the community. Uh, Walmart was providing bins for storage. Kohler Company was providing uh, supplies to residents and, at uh, Sunny Ridge. The Holiday Inn provided space for health care workers to recover if they didn't want to recover at home. Quick Trip was providing refreshments, and Kohler, LTC, and Rockline in particular have been tremendous partners with um, replenishing and building up our personal protective equipment. Those three companies have really been helpful, in addition, as I said, to the hospitals earlier and what they did to provide critical staff need. So in summary, uh, we know we have a long road ahead of us. We're hoping it's going to be sooner rather than later. We're all learning. But uh, as many of you have heard me say before, you learn a lot about your coworkers and people around you in a crisis. You learn a lot about yourself. And uh, I can't say enough about our public health professionals, our health care providers, our emergency management director, our purchasing agent, our emergency responders, our health and human services staff that are providing mental health resources and assistance to people that need it, employees that have been redeployed, such as staff from UW Extension and other areas, our human resources department that has been working with Corporation Council on updating and refining policies and procedures so staff have certainty and know what options they have. We now have upwards of 175 employees working from home, which has helped promote social distancing. We've made adjustments with our committee meetings, as you know. I think almost all of you now have had teleconferences with your respective committees. This is a first for the county board. It may be a little clunky. It may not be what we're comfortable with, but it's far safer and a compliment to everyone involved. The last thing I wanted to share before turning it back to the chairman is, you know, it, it's, um, it's kind of sad in a way that we aren't all together because, of course, historically, this is a meeting where we, we celebrate a little bit and we recognize one another for our public service. And we have seven county board supervisors that are have chose to retire or were, were defeated in a, in a competitive race. But I want Don Brula and Steve Bauer and Tom Epping and Jim Baumgart and Jim Globin and Charles Conrardi and Roger Otten to know how much we appreciate your public service. The combination of the 70, seven of you, that's 114 years of collective public service on the county board. That's remarkable. And Charlie and Roger uh, in particular, 26 years, Charlie, 32 years, Roger Otten. That is just remarkable. So we're sorry that we're not able to, to say that to you face to face tonight and, and hand you a plaque and give you a few minutes to, to share words to the board as a whole. But we certainly hope in the near future we're going to be able to have a gathering of former board members and new board members and celebrate our collective achievements and what you've been a part of and what you've done to help make Sheboygan County even a better place. So thank you. Thank you, Chairman Wagner and members of the Executive Committee for your leadership. And I'll, with that, I'll turn it back to the Chair. Thank you, Adam. Uh, this is Chairman Wagner again. Just going to make two quick comments on that. Uh, we will definitely be bringing everybody back 
uh, those seven people in particular at a board meeting in the future after this all settles down. And we want to honor all seven of you, and I would just add my thank you to what Adam said. In addition to that, I just want to make one comment. Our public health is just knocking it dead. There's a lot of people working real hard here, but I really want to single out public health. I happen to be texting back and forth with Senator Devin Lemieux today, and uh, he said to me on the text, we go back and forth on this quite a bit, Sheboygan County has the best information reporting on COVID-19 than any other county I have checked. So that was from Senator Lemieux, and I just wanted to share that with you. And like a lot of us, he's got a lot of time to check those things out. So that's a compliment to our public health, who's doing a super job. So thank you, everybody. Next, we're going to have consideration of committee reports, executive committee, resolution number 22. Authorizing the issuance and sale of $4,750,000 general obligation promissory note recommendation to adopt. I'm going to ask Supervisor Gehring to make the motion, and if Supervisor Testrudi would be kind enough to second that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Supervisor Gehring moves to adopt resolution number 22. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll second the motion. Thank you. No, no vote. Next, um, I'm going to ask Supervisor Obler if he would make amend that resolution, and if Supervisor Supervisor Jorgensen would second that. Supervisor Adler here. Motion to amend. Supervisor Jorgensen here. I second that motion. Thank you both. Are there any discussion or questions on resolution number 22 before we're going to take two different votes? The first is on the amendment. Yeah. And if I may just clarify the amendment. Sure. So the, the county board should have received, and this is Crystal Fever, the county board should have received this afternoon an email with an updated resolution, which is how the bonding traditionally works, is we have a draft resolution that comes in initially to the board, and then once we have the final figures, bond council, which is Quarles and Brady, makes that update. So the county board would have received this afternoon via email the final resolution, which is what we are looking at as the amendment. So uh, when we're referencing the amendment, we are talking now about um, incorporating the final terms that you received this afternoon. Okay, thank you. Excellent. So next we'll take a vote to amend the agenda. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Then there's a vote on the resolution as amended. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you very much. Resolution number 11. Creating Chapter 8, establishing Sheboygan County Industrial Development and Revolving Loan Agency recommendation to enact. I'm going to ask if Supervisor Prochek would make the motion and Supervisor Obler second that. Are you there, Ed? Okay. Supervisor Prochek makes a motion to enact ordinance number 11. Thank you, Supervisor Prochek. Supervisor Grabler supports the motion. Thank you very much, Supervisor Abler. Is there any discussion or questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Before we adjourn, I just want to tell you uh, the executive committee met last night and we went through a schedule going forward. On April 21st, and you'll get this in writing too, on April 24th, we're going to meet at UW Green Bay, Sheboygan. We're going to spread out. We're going to have temperature checks. We're going to have mass. Unfortunately, the sheriff already canceled the honor guard, which is the prudent thing to do. We had to cancel the minister that I had lined up, etc., because we're going to keep this as sparse as possible. And then we'll follow the normal agenda that we normally do on that day, which means uh, we'll take the oath of office, and uh, Mr. Dolson will be providing that oath for us. We'll sign a signature. And then following that, uh, Crystal will be given the opportunity to run the uh, election of the chair, vice chair, and executive committee. Adam will also have a list on the agenda, and our new leadership will be elected at that meeting next Tuesday. 
Following that, the executive committee will meet probably on April 23rd to confirm the chair's appointments. And then following that, the next meeting will be on the 28th, and that'll be a teleconference too where we confirm the chair's appointments and we move on. I believe that's it. If you've got any questions, feel free to give me a buzz. Thank you very much. And if uh, Supervisor Testrudi could... Mr. Chairman? Yes. Mr. Chairman? Yes. This is Roger Rahm. Yes. I'm wondering if I could make a few remarks. You may. 30, 32 years on the county board. Almost bittersweet. I'm sorry it has to end without us being together tonight. I began my political career in, career in 1970. Sounds almost ancient. I was elected as an alderman to the Sheboygan City Council, and I've served there for eight years. I advocated for a more efficient way of doing the garbage, and it wasn't too popular. It's interesting that some 40 years later, the city is implementing an, implementing an more efficient way with buckets lifted to the truck. Some things take longer. In the meantime, I was out of office for 10 years. My wife, who was always interested in politics with my, with my coaxing, ran for alderman and won. She very capably served for 12 years. In 1988, I ran for county board supervisor, and I'm ending tonight after 32 years. My wife and I, as lifelong members, love our community. We think it's the greatest. Today, together, we have served our Sheboygan community for 52 years. We just celebrated our 66th wedding anniversary. We have five children, three boys and two girls, four living in Sheboygan County and one in Brookfield. What, ble what blessing that is at our age, we'll both be 90 this year, uh, to have our children around us. We have 20 grandchildren and are expecting our 38th great-grandchild in August. They are spread all over the United States. Audrey and I are still very active and we're very grateful for good health. As we reflect on these many years, we think of all the people our lives have touched. We so much enjoy meeting people. So many wonderful people come to mind. I have gotten to know so many county board supervisors, so many county department heads and employees, as well as constituents. I especially want to thank Adam Payne for his leadership in our county. To those of you who will be continuing to serve on the county board, be persons of integrity. It's all about service to our community. Thank you for serving, and I wish you God's blessing. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, Roger. And I certainly don't want to shortchange anybody. If anybody else who's leaving wishes to it, but keep in mind you will have an opportunity to speak also when we bring you back and honor you. Okay, hearing none. Uh, I also wanted to point out that when we do our organizational meeting after that, uh, which will be by phone, the committees will get together and finance committee, executive committee, all those, and they will meet by phone too and elect their leadership and set their meeting time and date. So we should be good with that. So like I said, if you got any other questions, I appreciate everybody's patience. I think we did it the safest way possible. And we'll be seeing all of you next Tuesday, hopefully, at uh, UW Green Bay Sheboygan with more information to come. And if uh, Supervisor Testrudi could make a motion to adjourn, I would appreciate it. I move to adjourn. Thank you. Is there a second? So I can write a second. Thank you, Charlie. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Sorry, picture. Really good night.